Hey everybody, Villani here. So a friend of mine came recently to me and showed me a, a video with a guy making a room full of mirrors, mirrors on all walls, all six walls, even the floor. And it was amazing because he could count his reflection up to 16 times before he was unable to distinguish himself. So a friend came to me and said, would, would ray tracing be able to do this kind of stuff? And I thought, well, I think not. Um, I, I suppose it was like trying to, to do that would make your game run in less than one frame per second. And I had a 3090 now and I tried to do it and I was impressed with the results in real. So here's what I did. Uh, I, rena I Of course, I enabled ray tracing my projects, everything. Um, so I added a post-process volume. I have a mirror box here. The material of the box is just a color for the base color, which has to be very close to white or white. I did it very close because I wanted the effect of the reflection getting greener and greener, as I saw in the video. Uh, metallic one, so you have the pure reflections. And roughness, I started zero because I wanted to be a, a mirror, so very smooth. And that was the mirror material. Uh, then, of course, I overread, I I've overridden the, those settings with some a bit of green here because it was pure white until I, and I was testing until I get I got something that was uh, nice looking. <laughs> so right, so here we have the post process volume that affects. Uh, by the way, I'm inside the box here, the mirror box. It's I set a, the material to be two sided so you can see the insides of it, and I put this character inside. And as you can see, if I play here. The character is being reflected, and this is the default post-processing -process, post settings in Unreal. Uh, I'm, if I get out of the box, you see it cut off. So you only see one reflection, and where there's no reflection anymore, it gets black. There's an option in Unreal that you can make, you can override the what's shown when there's no reflection anymore, and you can, and it's this R dot ray tracing dot reflections dot reflection captures. If you set it to one. It's gonna put the when it cannot use uh, you, when it cannot have reflections bouncing around anymore. It's gonna use the reflection capture you have in the scenario. So I put a reflection capture, and forced it to use this HDRI map from Unreal, and that's it. So what I'm gonna do here for now, I'm gonna disable this because it looks cool even without it. I'm gonna take my post process volume, go to. Ray, tra ray tracing reflection settings. This is the default one. And I'm going to start increasing it. So in the video, the guy was able to see 16 of his reflections. Let's see how far I can go before my FPS tr starts dropping down. So three seems to be it. Four. Yeah, four. It's starting to get below 120. So four already looks pretty good. But testing... I found out that I can go up to 17 without it getting very bad. Uh, recording now, it's worse. I was getting like almost 60 FPS before. So since I'm recording, it's worse. But it's still really good. Um, I, don't, I don't think OBS is being able to capture it in the correct frame rate. So I'm going to make it a bit lower because it's still cool. And let's try 10. All right, so with 10, you can see it still works. Alt P, and this is already this is already really cool. Like you can see many self reflections around from all the the walls, from all the mirrors. It's it's really cool. But something that really got me impressed is that if you increase the roughness of the mirror. So let me hit Shift F1 here so I can control everything again. And if you increase the roughness, it also increases with the distance, even in the reflections of the reflections, which is really amazing. And it really is optimized to... You have a threshold in your reflection values that if the reflection value is above that, it stops using ray tracing and switches to the screen space reflections with reflection captures. So for instance, if I put if I put here one, it's reflecting the sky. Uh, I think 0.5 is the threshold. So if I try 0 
it starts reflecting the character, but in the reflections that go above 0 0.5, being reflections of already blurred reflections, Unreal, Unreal knows that, and it switches to the fallback reflections of, uh, after some of them. So 0 0.3, you can see a, a few of the characters. Let me try to do 0 0.35. You can see the background is now the reflection capture. So one of uh, up from a, from one of the reflections, Unreal decided, hey, this is very blurry. I I can switch to the other type of reflections, which is really good. So I really like the effect with 0. Point, I think 0. 0. 0.05. Yeah, this is really cool. And the FPS, I don't know if OBS is displaying that. I don't think so. I think it's recording super slow. But you can see, for me, it's super smooth. Like, it's 70 FPS. And this this is really amazing. I'm really impressed. Um, I had no idea I was capable to get into this level. Of course, it's just one character. I removed all the lights in the scene. There's just... Uh, uh, skylight with there's just a skylight with uh with an with the same HDR I put I put in the sphere reflection capture and so yeah this is super light in terms of performance if I add a point light it gets lower I didn't test it with directional lights yet but I just wanted to see how far it could go while seeing something with the the skylight of course and this is a skeletal match like there's other computation going on here there's the animation so and, and this is already heavy i mean not heavy for today's standards but still it's it's more things for unreal to compute while doing the reflections so this is pretty amazing i'm i'm very impressed i uh, hope you guys are too because i had no idea i could get to this level of reflections in real time like if this was for a game and we have an enough light scenario I think you can you can get easily with five reflections and keep 60 FPS on next generation. I don't know if next generation is as good as a 3090, but considering that you're not going to be processing the whole operational system and other things like I am here on Windows, I think it's possible. And this is amazing.